Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the first Young at Heart of 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm delighted to be back with you. I'm Father James DeLucio, ready, willing, and able to offer you nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's fables, Lewis Carroll, limericks, larks, stories of the great operas, epics, and such to keep us all young at heart. It's good to be with you today. Tonight, I have just one poem. My New Year's resolution is to keep these short and sweet. Hi, Catherine. And so, <laughs> um, tonight's poem is, well, I won't tell you the title, but it's one of those poems that's constructed to create a picture. I'm searching for the name, if there is a kind of name or label to poems such as these. But you will see, I will show you the text of the poem, and it creates a picture which will let you know what this poem is about. Isn't that neat? Neat. I always enjoyed that word, using that word. This poem is called, Whenever You See a Tree, and it's by Padma. Ven Katraman. Padma Ven Katraman. Look her up. She's new to me. There she is. Well, there, you can see it again. There she is. And uh, I think she's someone I'd like to um, read more from, of, both. All right, here we go. Here's our poem. Think. How many long years this tree waited as a seed. For an animal or bird or wind or rain to maybe carry it to maybe the right spot where again it waited months for seasons to change until time and temperature were fine enough to coax it to swell and burst its hard shell so it could send slender roots to clutch at grains of soil and let tender shoots reach toward the sun. Think. How many decades or centuries it thickened and climbed and grew taller and deeper, never knowing if it would find enough water or light or when conditions would be right so it could keep on spreading leaves, adding blossoms and dancing Next time you see a tree, think how much hope it holds. And here again it is. You can take a moment, if you like, to read it yourself. There you go. Isn't that fun? Yeah, you can put this piece on pause and then you can just read it like that. I bet you'd enjoy it. It's good to be back with you. I hope that your new year's off to a good start and COVID free. We still have to be cautious and careful. As for me, I'm at my brother's house in South Carolina. I was visiting, um, when did I arrive? On the 15th. And I was going to stay four days, but um, <laughs> his daughter's school was uh, closed. Well, not closed, went virtual because of COVID cases. So I had to quarantine here. And I was about to return tomorrow to New York, but there's a snowstorm there. My flight was canceled. <laughs> so I hope to get back safe and sound to New York on Sunday. Uh, but wherever you are and wherever you're traveling, be safe. God bless and stay young at heart. Bye, everyone.